Hey guys, it's Ryan Hayden uh, from Rowan Table, and I'm gonna do something I haven't done in forever, and that is make a video about Airtable. Now, before I get into this, I do wanna say this. I am not currently available uh, to take on new clients. I get requests all the time. I know that's a good position to be in, but I uh, work as a pastor. Um, that's my main occupation, and um, I work on projects related to that on the side. Um, as much as possible. And I've only got so many hours a week to do that. And those hours are booked for the foreseeable future. So I'm sorry, um, just not available to hire right now. Uh, and I just wanted to say that. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to make a video uh, just to, to do something really simple in Airtable. And uh, it's a beautiful application for this. I've, I actually just did this for myself and I just figured it would be good to share. So when I work hourly, the way that I've been doing it is I have this bullet journal and I just record when I start, when I stop, um, let's see if you can see that there, when I start, when I stop, and then after I've built it, I highlight it. Now, this system works and the beauty of it is I almost always have this bullet journal with me. Um, the problem is I have to do the math of how many hours it is and I have to do the math of, um, you know, adding them all together. And then, uh, I have to, uh, you know, manually mark off the ones that have been invoiced. And I figured Airtable would be an easy solution for that. So I've already made one, but we're not going to look at it. What we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch and do it again. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a base and I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to call this one time tracking example. And one of the things I like to do is I like to use an emoji as the first character. It's a little trick here. So on a Mac, if you press Control, um, Control, Command, and Space, I believe is the, then it pulls this up, and you can pick a different um, emoji. So I'm going to use this cache one here. Um, and then you can see there that becomes the icon. It's kind of a cool little trick. So time tracking example. So what we need is we're gonna start with an entries table. That's the first thing. And what we wanna do is we wanna record um, basically four things. We wanna record when we start, so start time. So I'm gonna make this a date field, start time. And we're gonna make it a date field that includes a time zone. And then we're gonna create another one. We're gonna call this one end time, same deal, date field, included time zone. So start time and end time. Then what we want to do is we want to have a description of what we've done. You can add whatever you want here. This is just what I do. We want to have the hours worked. And this is going to be a formula. We'll get to that in a second. And then um, yeah, we'll save this. And then we uh, are going to do something else over here for the um, for the actual invoice. So let's start with this. I'm gonna delete these two. And let's say I'm starting, let's say today I worked, started work at eight o'clock in the morning. I didn't, by the way, um, 8 a.m. And I worked until 11 a.m. without a break, let's say. So 11 a.m. All right, there we go. So we have an, a start time, end time, same day. Um, let's say I was working on the registration form. Okay. All right, now, hours worked. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a formula here. So I'm gonna go down to formula. And the formula that we want, by the way, you can always pull this field reference up, which I do all the time. This particular formula is a date and time function. And what we want is this. We want to get the difference between the start and the end time. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into this. And then inside of, I'm going to erase date one, and I'm going to type start time and just enter there. Um, actually, let's make it end time. End time, because we're subtracting. And then start time. And then for the units, let's type in the word hours save. Actually, let's do minutes because hours won't work. Um, so save. Um, yeah, just like that. Okay, cool. So now we have minutes, 180 minutes, three hours, 
Uh, and the reason I want to do minutes is I actually don't, I bill for, you know, partial hours and uh, hours is just going to give you, it's going to round it up. So I did minutes, but actually what I want is I want hours worked. And what I find the easiest way to do that is just to wrap this in parentheses like this, and then divide by 60 to give you your minutes. Pretty easy math. So if we do that, okay, so we have got a pretty good foundation here. We've got our start time, end time, description, and hours worked. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna link this to a particular invoice. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna type in invoices, um, and then when for our field type, we're gonna link to another record, create new table. Uh, we'll call it invoices, we'll allow linking to multiple records, just like this. So, um, in invoices, our name, again, we're gonna change this to a date field but we don't need a time for this one. So we'll just put date and well, that's enough for now. Okay, we'll get to this back in a second. So let me make another one of these. Let's say yesterday I worked from, um, let's say 6 a.m. to um, to 10, 10.30 a.m., all right on the registration form. This has been a beast of a registration form, I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, there, yeah. So, um, oh, on this hours work thing, I, I did wanna show you this. So it's rounding up, which is not good. That's not what we want. So we wanna go here and under formatting, right now it's integer, make sure that it's decimal, one point of precision is fine. So that's much better. All right, now we have four and a half hours, three hours total. Now for invoices, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create an invoice uh, for today. And then here we're gonna select that invoice. So both of these are, are, are paired to the same invoice. And then I think I need to go in here and turn this off. We only allow one in, all right, there we go. So now, um, now we have a, a mechanism for uh, for collecting these invoices. I'm gonna group these together by invoice, like this. And we have a mechanism for, for you know, just writing these down and then invoicing them to a specific invoice. Pretty simple, definitely does what this thing here does right there. Now, how do we add it up? Let's go to invoices. Um, let's create a new field here. We're gonna create a roll-up field called um, hours and it's going to be a roll up and we're going to choose our entries and the field is going to be hours worked and we're going to do a sum of that value and make sure again that we're using that decimal so there we have it 7.5 and then so every week you know um i would go through every time i start work click stop work click give it a description um, it'll it'll do the hours automatically, uh, assign it to an invoice, okay, and then that's it. That's all all I got to do. Uh, and then I can look at the invoice and say I need a bill for this many hours. Maybe we'll do one more thing and we'll do build, uh, and just make this a checkbox. And we can do something with the uh, with the views to to just see the ones that have been built in the past and the ones that have not. All right, that, that's it. Um, pretty simple time tracking little app there that we made and um, would work really well. I, I'm, I'm using it, so uh, let me know what you think.